Welcome back. We are exploring my list of top 10 things that make you attractive and valuable to society. Forget about high school. We're, we're moving on to college now and adulthood and how the world actually works. People are not sizing you up on your looks, they're sizing you up on other things. And I wanna make sure that as a 39 year old man who graduated high school 21 years ago, I'm eager to tell you how the world actually works. So we already talked about being confident or at least appearing to be confident. Here's number two that you respect women and you help your fellow man. You love your neighbor as yourself. So for example, when I was younger and I had a friend of me or whatever, I did not want to see him succeed. I wanted to be more successful than he is. Now in my more mature life, I realize, hey, I will celebrate anyone who finds success in what they're doing. Good for them. Maybe I can learn from something from them. So I celebrate and I want eager to help other men not compete with them. I want to collaborate, if anything, but never compete with men. Never argue or debate. I want to find out what can I agree with my fellow man. When it comes to women, it's a matter of understanding you treat them with respect instead of playing the game. Again, high school mentality versus adulthood. Now, here's the thing. People will totally notice this. If you're someone who respects other men and respects women, they will respect you. And that's largely what the male identity is about, is about gaining respect from people. My wife and I are currently going through the office again for the third time. I think we're in season two right now. Ryan Howard, his true colors are, sh are showing up midway through the second season of who he really is. He doesn't respect other men. Uh, he doesn't respect women. And at first you didn't know that, but now you start seeing that. Whereas Jim, the character of Jim, totally respects women and people around him. Uh, on a much higher level than Ryan Howard ever ever could, which ironically, the B.J. Novak who plays uh, Ryan was actually one, one of the main writers of the show. So people are paying attention to this. People are noticing whether you truly respect other people or not. Whether you're really a stand-up guy totally matters in whether you are seen as attractive and valuable to society. For example, true story, last week, I was walking to the dollar store. My family was already there at me. I loaded up the, the Jeep with some stuff. And I opened the door. They had all these COVID-19 signs on the glass windows. I'm opening up. I'm wearing my, I'm wearing these shoes right here. These are my, my Saturday shoes I tend to wear. I can slip them off when I'm driving the Jeep and drive barefoot. So I'm opening the door. And when I do though, the guy coming out of the store just swings the door open blindly. Granted, he couldn't see because of the big COVID sign, but still just swings it open and slams the steel door into my shoe, which doesn't look so bad now, but at the time, my toe instantly started bleeding. Uh, and it dropped me to the ground. It just really smacked me that hard through with my balance. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry. And I'm like crouching by the door because it just really threw me off. And I'm again, my toe is bleeding now. And he's, and he's like, are you okay? And like, I was like, I think I'll make it. And then he just keeps walking. And by the time I stood up, again, my, my toe is literally throbbing at this point. I look back and I see this guy just whistling away. So for example, that would be a person who is, I feel doesn't respect his fellow. If I did that, if someone was bleeding and crouching because even an accident, I would show more compassion to that person. I would feel bad. But because I'm emotionally intelligent, I don't curse that man. I do not wish bad things upon him. I just understand that as a man, I think he's like in his 50s, 40s, 50s, he was not as emotionally developed as say I am. And it's a matter of recognizing that. Certain people aren't there yet. I want to help you get there quicker in your youth. Your comments belong right here.